Hello, welcome back to Hangar 51. So we're going to do the build on the new Viper 90 from uh, E-Flight Horizon Hobby. This is the bind and fly, so uh, it's got a receiver in it. So um, so we're just going to do a quick build. This should be pretty fast, guys. It's a pretty simple build. So um, they want to start with the tail section, so let's turn this around. Um, of course, I've already put on the magnetic nose cone. So that was the first step really quick. <laughs> Um, okay, so this goes on first. This uh, square piece here is your bottom. They've got three three plugs here. Two are for the elevator, one's for the rudder. And uh, they've got them taped down, and they're in the way. So you, you've got to pull that tape to get this done. You can't the uh, the the, the stabilizer goes into that area too much. So we definitely have to remove that tape. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to pick up these three wires and set this down into place here. There's four uh, pedestals sticking up that this has to slide down onto. So. And that's why you have to pull these wires up out of the way, because they're right right in the way of that. So, all right, so we slide that down on there like that. Okay. We're going to plug in the elevators. These two are marked elevator on a Y connector. And there's two elevators here. These are the locking ones. I like these guys. The, I like the locking ones. It's nice. And just make sure you match up the colors. You know, yellow to yellow, brown to brown. So, yeah, check it. Make sure you do it right because you don't want to take this back apart later and fix it. You know, just save steps now. It's, it's a lot faster to just double check yourself now while you're doing it. Okay, plug it in all the way. Make sure the uh, latch catches it. And yellow, yellow. Okay. Okay, so final check. Yellow, yellow, and yellow, yellow. Okay, all right. There's a nice big cavity here to shove these wires down into, so just you know, push them on down in. Get them out of the way. Okay, and then the vertical goes on. We got one plug here for the vertical. Same thing, it's a locker. Make sure the colors match. Oh, yellow, yellow, yep. Okay. All right. And then we're going to just push this down in there, too. It's a pretty good size uh, cavity they give you here to push all this down into, so it shouldn't really be a problem. Check it down there pretty easy. Seems like it will anyway. I think we're going to move that one all the way forward. I no, can't go that far forward. Okay. I guess I could put these forward though. That might make more room. Let's try that. Yeah, let's put the uh, elevator forward. Like that. And then we'll put the rudder back here. That'll probably look much better. Um, yeah. Well, they really put that plug in just the wrong place. I mean, that's right in the way. Right, right smack dab in the middle. Right in the way. It's not good engineering there, guys. Sorry, but that was not a good move. Alright, I think 
This is gonna work, bro. Let's shove it down there. Right? Okay, one more tip again, guys. If you've watched my video before, listen. Just take your finger and your thumb together, pinch the foam here, and just squeeze it like this, right down the line here. Just give it a little squeeze. It, it doesn't look like you're doing anything, but it's putting just enough um, roll on that foam so that it's going to just fall right down into place. You're not going to have to fight it. It's going to just drop right in nice and easy. No fight, just drops right in. So it's a cute little tip. I, I, trust me, you want to do it. it. It makes a big difference. It really makes it much easier. Okay. And you push all that down in there. Just like that. All right. So we've got one little bag here. It's got a bind plug in it and I think nine screws. Probably one extra. Um, probably only need eight screws to put it together. We'll find out for sure. But a lot of times they give you one extra. So. All right. So got a bind plug. I shouldn't need that. Should already be bound. But you, they always give you a new bind, bind plug. All right. And all these screws are the exact same size, guys. So you don't have to search through the screws. They're all the same size. They're all two, two millimeter. I believe it's a two millimeter. Let me make sure. Yep, they're all two millimeter hexed. So simple. All right, so we're going to put one in here. I, I, as I've said before, guys, always get all your screws started first before you start tightening anything down. you got to get them all in first. So just go ahead and get them all started. Okay. Turn around this way. There and one there. And it looks like we're going to need all nine, so no extra screws. You're going to you get nine, you need nine. So okay, and one more here. Okay, all started. Went real nice. Um, I, I don't like tightening anything down. If you know, I, I go, I just keep going around the plane a little at a time until I get them all in. I don't like tightening one down ahead of time. I just feel like it's going to pull it down even with no complications if you just keep moving around. That's just me. That's just the way I like to do it. Let's take. Let's take and one more.
Okay, so there's your first five screws. You got four left, and that's what you need for the wing. So next, let me untape these two uh, spars came taped together, so you got to untape them. All right, I don't know where they get this yellow tape. <laughs> Never seen that before. I don't know where they got that yellow tape from. All right. So we got two spars here, big fat one, and, um, and this uh, long thin black one. Okay. All right. So I'm assuming both of those go in the wing here, and they do. So the thin one goes in the back, right in the middle of that square thing. Okay. And then the big one goes in the front here, right next to the... All right. So let's uh, start with the right wing. side there somehow. So I'm definitely not going to fit. It's way too long for that. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Okay, there it goes. So I don't know if you're going to have this problem, but just what I did, start the back one first, the thin black one first, because it doesn't seem to want to line up exactly, and then put the the white one, the big one in next. Because uh, it, the the black one, I got the the white one started, and the black one didn't want to go. But as soon as I put the black one in, the white one went. So it went much better that way. Okay, and then we're just going to slide that together, like that, and that went together really nice, very nice. Okay. And then we're going to go over here and do the left wing. And same thing, I'm going to think this can slide in. Just like that. I'm going to leave the black one sticking on a little bit so I can get this started first. And then we're going to put the put the white one in now, and there we go. Beautiful. All right. Okay. I'm going to check my screw alignment with the tool just to check it because, trust me, it, it makes it much easier if, these, if your tool goes in, then the screw is going to go in. And if your tool don't go in, then the screw may not go in. So, check it first. It makes makes it easier in the long run. All right. Boy, this bag just does not want to give up the screws today for some reason. All right. So let's put one in here. Get it started. Over here. See that one was off just a little bit. The tool, the tool wouldn't go in there, and neither would the screw. So let me see if I can. Yeah, there we go. Just takes a little, just a little tweak sometimes. 
not, not always a big problem. Just needs a little needs a little persuasion. Okay. So we got these two in. So we'll tighten that one up. And then tighten this one. Okay, all right, and then we're going to do two on this side. Same thing, this one's this one's a little, little persuasion, that's all. Just, just a little tweak, that's all it takes. And the last screw goes right here. All right, there we go. That's everything screwed. And now we just got uh, the wing tips to, to uh, snap on here and the uh, ventral fins. So this is going to go on here like this. Uh, this is going to be a little tricky, guys. you got to make sure you get that lens. You know, be careful of that lens. You don't want to mess that up. I'm going to slide that on like that. Okay, and then we'll do the other side. Alright. Very nice. Well, that was a nice, easy build. Okay, assembly. For you guys that get anal about calling that a build, it's an assembly, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> it's we're done. Okay. All right. So now we just got to bind it to the radio. Let me grab a battery. Um, I think there's one right there in the radio. Okay. We're back. And uh, we're going to, I already bound the, the radio here. So let's, uh, let's plug it in and drop the gear and we'll, uh, Okay. All right. Let me pick it up here and uh, get the green light out of the camera so that let's do that and let's drop the gear. There we go. All right, guys. So that's going to do it. She's all built, ready to go. Um, all control surfaces are working. I guess you can't see any of that uh, on camera. Just the plane's not really in the camera view. Um, maybe, I, maybe I can turn around this way. Let me, uh, let me move the radio over here. I can turn the plane like this. Alright, 
that works. I guess that works. Okay, so here's the rudder, elevator, flaps. So we're all set, guys. Ready to fly it. All right. So that's going to do it for the build. Um, I hope that was good. I hope you learned something there. And uh, we're getting ready to go fly it. I think we'll fly it tomorrow. So uh, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comments at the bottom. And we'll talk to you on the flight review, which is coming up next. So. Look for that, and we'll see you then. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.